Oh god. Wow. Chill. Wow. About time you calm down. Yeah, what oh, the heck, sorry. man? Uber's been waiting for 10 minutes. I wanted to make sure it was warm. That's a late fee. Yeah. Really? Right there. Oh, yeah. Rip. Don't throw up. That's $500. Rip. Really? You're leaving us. I'm well, actually, we're leaving you. Yeah, I'm going to a beach. Rip. What's the strat here? Should we go to a beach too? Yeah, I, think I we said should. we show up and crash uh, this party. Yes, That's fine. I'm down. We might do it. Well, folks, we're at the airport. We are going to Florida. Shoo! We are going to Florida. Um, <laughs> we got a pool jet. We, it's, dude, it's two degrees out here. My it's home. so cold. I couldn't yeah. take it. I couldn't do it. I just, I couldn't do it. I tried so hard to get you guys videos in the winter when it's negative four degrees. And I woke up yesterday morning, called Pool Jet and Banjo and said, boys, we gotta go to Florida. It just ain't happening. Banjo's like, I'm actually going to Florida, but I'm taking my girlfriend and I'm not gonna hang out with you guys. So I don't know what that strat is. It's gonna be a me and Pool Jet adventure. We're at the airport, it's 4 a.m. We're gonna jump on a plane and head to Florida. We have no plans. This is where Pool Jet grew up, if you guys didn't know. So he's gonna show me around where his old stomping grounds are. And we're gonna try to make some videos. And it could be two videos, three videos, eight videos, 27 videos. I don't even know. I didn't book a return flight. All I said was, it's too cold to film here in Nebraska. We're headed to Florida. You guys stay tuned. Well, folks, made it. Where are we at? Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. North Carolina? Yeah. Yep, it's definitely North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. Got the old Chick fil A on. Kind of a weird incident happened here at Chick fil A. We showed up. By the time we waited in line, I mean, the line you can see is it's absolutely massive. We waited in line for. What do you think, 10-15 minutes probably? We got up there and they had the only thing on the menu that was available was a chicken biscuit. What, what do you, you get, they give us the right thing? They give us both no, no, no uh, pickles. That's all right, I, I, I didn't need that pickle anyway, I guess. Okay. So we got up there and there's literally just a chicken biscuit left. That is it, that, everything else is grayed out. And because it was like 10, 28 basically, you know, right before breakfast ends, lunch starts. So we convinced them to give us lunch while we waited and we ended up getting Chick-fil-A. But we're in Charlotte, North Carolina. Absolute worst flight of your life or how'd that go? Definitely not the worst flight ever. It was pretty bad though. I was uncomfortable. We got exit row seats thinking, man, we're high class. We're gonna be having leg room and stuff. <laughs> Absolute worst American. They didn't. They didn't have the. It figured out. It was also like a really small plane, so it wasn't that comfortable. But anyways, we got Chick Fil A. We've got like a three-hour layover. We're gonna hang out here. We're gonna chill, and then we're gonna fly. We're going into Daytona. Yeah. Daytona Beach, Florida. You guys stay tuned. Look at this fit, boys. You ain't seen this in a hot minute, huh? We're getting, we're getting it figured out. Well, we just made it to Daytona Beach. I got it, I got it. What's up, dog? How are you? How you doing? What's your name? Jacob. Nice to meet you, Jacob. Nice I'm Andrew. You, All right, Jacob's picking us up. We're going fishing. Shoo! Man, it feels good to be in Florida. <sighs> Finally, we're in Florida, boys. We're going fishing. Catch and cook start now. Well, we made it to the tech Florida. shop. I don't, I'm, I'm lost here, boys. This is not, it's not bass fishing anymore. Big live bait guy. Where's Banjo when you need I, him? Honestly, I honestly show I, up. I never use such, live bait. That's such the only a, problem. Such a disappointment. Ban oh, wait, here. Banjo's a big live bait guy. Oh, 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 look, oh, look at these shrimp. Dude, if we don't catch anything, can we just eat these things? Is it that kind of shrimp or not? Uh, I not mean, you can. I've never done it. It's always a good backup, man. Someone can hold the back lip for me. Yeah, I got you. You got it. Oh, look at these guys. Holy oh, frick. Yeah, we got the last They're a little bit bigger. Big daddies over here or what? Grab one. What is it? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Freaking crabs, dude. It is such a different environment here. It's just, it smells good, huh? Love that smell. I just have it, you know, obviously guys, COVID here, like, you know, haven't been traveling. I, I miss it. I love the farm. I love, you know, camels and stuff. Hey, how's it going? But I do miss, I used to travel constantly. And you, if you guys have been part of my channel for, you know, the last few years, you know that. And I miss it. And this is kind of bringing it back a little bit. You got one of them big floppy hats. Might need to get a floppy hat. No, no floppy hats inside. But we're getting shrimp. I have no idea what we're catching. This is basically this is a pool jet adventure. Okay, he's. We. I was like, dude, it's gonna be negative five degrees as a high for the next week. Let's go to Florida, and he's like, all right, dope. I grew up here. I'll show you, uh, you know, what I grew up doing and stuff like that. So I'm just following pool jet around and documenting it for you guys. And hopefully today we'll be able to get a catch and cook done for dinner. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, man. Got him loaded up. Oh yeah, you ready to go? Rock and roll. Cheese and rice, no way. Dude, what? It's massive. Uh, I've got a question for you. I got the answer for you. Did you drop something? Oh, silly me. <laughs> Big rip, look. <laughs> silly me. You know, dude, I'm at, never mind. This is, welcome to Florida. Hey, hey look. sometimes she just falls out, you know? Listen, when you got a 
Uh, I don't even want to. I should stop talking. What are we gonna catch, boys? Hey, some... Uncle Jay said he's got the the magnet for sheephead. Dude, I'm it's in. It's kind of a junk fish. It's, but it's, I'll it's still like a eat drum, it. right? Uh, isn't a sheephead a, isn't a sheephead just no, a saltwater drum? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, so, like a I'm pretty snapper. sure it's in either the snapper or the it's grunt snapper. family. I don't know really? which one. Really? You've eaten it before or no? But black drum yep. look like like baby black drum yep. look like sheephead. Right. So maybe uh, that's what you're thinking. Oh, uh, okay. Because I've caught freshwater drum, and I thought yeah. that's what a sheephead was. No, different, no. different, different species. Yeah. That's what we're going after. Uh, sure. So, <laughs> anyways, we got and we, we literally got shrimp. Literally anything. Literally whatever I'll bites. Eat anything. That's the thing about saltwater. It's kind of like going to, imagine going to a freshwater fishery that has like perch, crappie, bluegill, walleye, smallmouth, largemouth, muskie, like, you know, dozens of species. That's what saltwater fishing is basically like. You, you drop down a freshwater shrimp, pretty much everything eats these shrimp, right? Like there's no like limit. Yeah, really you never right. know what, it's like a, what's, it's like a box of chocolates. Speaking of that, that's what Banjo's doing right now. He's, oh, yeah. he, he's, he's getting ready for his date with a box yeah, of chocolates. So chocolate you never know what you're going to get and we're, and we're giving it a dangle. So we'll see you guys. Are we going to a... Well, this is the ocean, not a lake, I assume. Yeah, we're gonna. Is it, is it a, a canal? River. A river. Yeah. Oh, it's a river. That it's leads brackish to the ocean. water. It's yeah. Brackish, Ooh, yeah. that's brackish is when it's salt, fresh and salt. Fresh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So Loch Ness lives there, is basically yep. what's going on. <laughs> so we'll see you guys at the river. Shoo! We made it out there, folks. Well, this is. I don't know what we're we at. Where are we flying? Daytona. Dunlop. I was more concerned about the guy who doesn't have an inside door panel in his car. Listen, I'm not asking so, questions here. Sorry. Anyway, we're, uh, we're, we flew into Daytona. That, that's about all I know. Technically, right now we are in Port Orange. P port orange, port like the color, orange, yes. like the fruit, like the fruit. Port color, orange. Uh, hey, which came first, the color or the fruit? You know, you think someone's like that's called an orange, or they're like, no, this is an orange. You know, I would say the fruit came first, and they called it an orange, and then anything that that's color, that same color afterwards, is now orange. So you think the, the color red came before apple? Not exactly. No, no. I, I'm not sure. Oh, look. Know either. You think, think, think any, or any, you think, any of these guys out here at Van Dam? You think? Oh, God, like, yeah. like, is there, any, is there like local beauties around here that like you see oh, Buddy at the dock and it's like we might as well just go home? Oh, like, is that a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I want to meet. I want to meet a local beauty out here. Oh, rip. Okay, gotcha. dude, can we catch and cook that guy? <laughs> Man, this is crazy. What a change of pace. N negative five this morning to this. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it out here. Just throw it down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. You're saying the strat is close to the wall? Yeah, try and get on that wall. So I, I used shrimp. God, I don't know what I, I, I was, I was with Lawson and we were on a boat and you would throw shrimp at that and I was catching something, I don't know what I was catching. Probably sheephead. You snapper think sheephead? Or something, yeah. Are they, our snapper, what color snapper, red? Uh, it depends on the snapper, but oh. the snapper you'd catch here, they're yeah. like a brownish red color. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So sheephead, snapper, what else do you think we're gonna catch? Sharks? No. No sharks. I mean, that's Cause possible. this is brackish, so, so where's the fresh water, come, where's the fresh water come from? There's the river's way, way, yep. way up yonder. Oh, so. So you know the St. John's River? Yep. That eventually hits this. Oh, river. really? Yeah. Okay. And then that's the ocean. You know it's the only river in the world that flows north? Weird, huh? What direction are we facing? We're facing south. That's south? Yeah, that's So south. it flows that it way? It flows yonder, yeah. Really? Really. He's not making this up? Yeah. No. It's the only one big, in the world. Big facts guy. Yeah, I know big, all facts. My facts. big facts. Big facts. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, we're getting, what, do you, what are we dangling with here? Uh, so we have a jig head. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's not messing around. We're going to throw this bad boy. We're going to throw a shrimp on there. Okay. We're going to see what happens. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right, I like it. See, let's, see what, let's see what we catch. How'd that go? Oh, it went about as expected. Yeah, well, yeah. listen, you remember how many people were here when we started? There's a reason why they left. It's because the fish left too. Change of plans. Showed up. I don't think we talked still. to We talked to big Papa Jim over there. He said that he was out here at 5.30 this morning and caught 12 and he left at 4 p.m. So you do the math there, about 11 hours That's for 12 fish. That's about one fish an hour. That's good ratio. That does not sound, uh, that does not sound good. So anyways, we are headed out. Plan B is up next. Uh, so pool jet, um, what's plan B? Oh, you just got to wait and see. Oh, really? It's a little OG action. Some some surprise. So, oh, you know it. came in. I mean, unfortunately, no airlines fly direct to here. So, like, it took us all day to get here. So, now we're winding down. It is 4.30 p.m. We've got, like, an hour, hour and a half of sunlight left. So, we're going to scramble here at the last second and try to get some fish for you guys. 
Well, folks, Pool Just Plan B was uh, sneak into a golf course. We're not going to classify which one, uh, but we, pu we pulled some strings, made things happen. We're at a golf course. Jacob sweet talked the guard. For it, yeah, ba ba oh, you just basically little... were like, hey, honey, hey, hey, I swear I know somebody that lives here. <laughs> and she's like, all right, sounds good. We ended up stop. Okay, this line's not. You struggling? I'm or? struggling, man. Let's just take two rods then. No, 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 no I'll get it. I'll get it. So let me try it. No, no, no I'll try a pal. Oh, I'll try a Palomar, maybe. Really? Yeah, maybe that's the. Oh, it's because it's frayed a little bit. I need to get the old frayed oh. line out. So what I was saying, folks, is uh, we snuck into this golf course here. We got, we stopped at Dick Sporting Goods, grabbed some hammer hooks, Guggen Squad hammer hooks, and some lunker logs. We, because I didn't bring any bass fishing gear. I didn't bring any fishing gear at all because we weren't planning on going for bass. But then we're like, hey, we only have like 30 minutes. Let's go try to catch some largies. So that's kind of the strat. We'll see if this knot breaks. If this knot breaks, I'm not sure what. Big rip. I better. I I'm gonna be uh, in trouble here if I get a big one. How's how's the old oh, lunker, lunker doing for you? They're slippery. What'd you do with the first one? Oh, you oh, you rigged it. Put it on up. the other rod. Okay, we got lunkies. We got hooks, and we've got like 25 minutes. No, we got more than that. Really? Oh yeah. You ever seen the low light on this camera? Solid. We don't have much more Solid. than that. Solid. Rig it up to you. This is some old school stuff. Going back to the roots. The old weightless. Everything. It, the it, the this weightless. Is all OG literally right three weightless lunker logs Senkos, on like, saltwater rod reel rigs. Yeah. We got to figure it out. You guys stay tuned. All right, well folks, we made it. Hiked in, didn't get kicked out. So so far so good. One of the local beauties walking around gave us a couple tips here, and I think we're gonna try this little wall. There's I don't even know what that. It's just a seawall looking thing, but I'll put these Mondo optics on, see if I can see anything. Ooh, that's gonna get them. There's a creek right here, creek right here. It all kind of forks in this middle, and I guess this wall is the juice. Oh God, what was that? Oh God, chasing bait, chasing bait. Not exactly where it was. Something just popped on that bait. Oh my gosh, just absolutely exploded, boys. We might just be imitating the wrong bait. We need the new Guggen Squad dart. I think it looked like a little bait fish and then a big explosion. I don't know if you guys can quite see it on the camera. Big in though, big in. Let's chase it. I just don't know if what I'm throwing, being the old lunkers, imitating the bait fish. Usually a bait like this does really well in Florida. So that's kind of what, uh, that's why when I walked in the store, I got this. It's, it's the go-to. You can't go wrong with the weightless lunker log. But that thing was chasing bait. You almost want something that can dart a little bit more. Why did I say dart like that? I'm not really sure. But man, I think that was a big old fish. Oh, pool jet! Look at one. that! Shoot! Oh, you got you one. From? You got the old well, largy. Oh, big oh, jam. Look at that guy. First first fish. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. And first release. There you got it. Yep. Pool just got a fish down on the ground. Hey, well, how many fish you got? Uh, I got zero. So you need you need a lunky or are you still oh, good? Oh, no. Yeah, he, bro he, he, he broke it in half. Let me get you a, a freshie. Well, we got one now. Okay, it's it's a little slow. Knocking up. Is that, are those oranges on that tree? Uh, that little guy? Oh, yeah, that's an orange tree. Man, you know what? Welcome I, to Florida. You know what I would do to have an orange tree in my backyard? I can, I guess I could have apple trees. Apple trees are pretty good. There's a lime tree at my dad's house. Really? Limes, yeah. Imagine just walking out to your backyard and grabbing a fresh that's, orange in the morning. That's got to be one of the most Florida things. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's why I got distracted from the orange tree. But Full Jet got one fish down on the ground. We're, we're running around. We're kind of thinking, I do, we were just talking, man, we should have grabbed some saucy swimmers. I saw them at Dick's and I'm like, yeah, you know, but the lunker, the lunker log can't be beat. That thing's always a guarantee. But now we're watching these fish. They're starting to chase bait and stuff. Oh, I got one. Yep, yep. What did I just say? They're chasing. Oh, God. Oh, oh, big Sheila. Big, oh, big Shamu. Come here, big Jim. We got a good one too, son. Yes, sir. Oh, now it's now it's heating up, boys. Oh, if that ain't a Florida fish, I don't know what is. Come here, buddy. No, he's he's got. It, you can tell it's that that Florida strain with the the longer lateral lines, and he's really dark. That is a Florida fish if I've ever seen one, dude. What did, I was literally just saying they're chasing. I started to pop it, That's what I've and you could see right him. Back. You could see him swirl. I think we just have to kind of work this thing a little bit quicker, but. Yes, sir. Shoo! Let's go. We got it. First Florida fish of the trip being a gold fashion largey sneaking in the golf course pond. See you later, Junior. Boom. All right, boys. Up to oh, oh, what's going what's what's giving the old splash out there? Yeah. Oh, oh rip. I ain't trying to catch him. Well, I mean it's heating up. We now I'm regretting not grabbing the old frog. We didn't have, you know, we're using salt water here. We weren't we weren't prepared for a golf course expedition because if we really were we would have a braid rod with the old poppin guggen squad frog that would be a lights out tactic here for sure but 
when in doubt, grab yourself one of them lunky logs. And if you even, if you start seeing fish chase bait, and you're not getting bites, do what we're doing. You just, you just sit here and just kind of and let it, and it just sits there and shimmies down. Just like a little bait fish. That's how Pulita and I both just had those bites pretty much back to back. Cause you caught yours reeling too, didn't you? Yeah, reeling it Yeah, they're chasing. Alrighty folks, well, we are changing ponds. Well, actually, I don't know if those are too connected. We were just over there, so we're walking this way now. Ooh, a little splash. We're walking this way. I don't know if that's gonna be any better, but as you can tell, it's getting kind of dark. The sun's actually standing. It's light outside longer than I expected. It's good, but there's some trees laid down here. So I'm gonna see if I can throw that old lunky over there and see what happens. Oh yeah. Oh. Yes, sir. Let's go in the trees, boys. Yep. Oh, dude, it's a good one, too. Right out of the trees. What did I say? What did I say, boys? <laughs> Let's go. Not a bad one. Yes, sir. Look at the old lunky doing it dirty. It's just getting it done. Yes, sir. -y. Fish number two for me. Right out of them trees. I called it. So that's the bush dreams are made of. And well, bam, we got to figure it out. Well, this thing's held up now. This is, I think, this is uh, this is the only lunker log that I've been using. So this is that was the second fish, still intact. We're gonna re-rig it, try to get another one. All right, we're going off the tip of this tree. I see a bunch of little swirls and right over, oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. Ooh, good. And the thing about this guy, the old lunky, you just, you just let it sink, 95%. That eh, might be a stretch, maybe like 85% of your catches are gonna be on that initial fall where like, you throw it, you let it sink down the bottom, you pick up the slack, you pull and you're like, bam, there's a fish. Very rarely is it when you're popping it, moving it, except for today, we have had some luck doing that just because I think they're chasing bait. But that's the one thing I love about the old lunky. You just throw it out there, you sit there, you relax, then you check it and whoop, bam, and there's a fish on it. Chill. Oh, it's popping. I did not realize hey, what you had in your hand. What's the strat here, boys? Oh, we're eating stuff. Um, well, we got, we got done catching fish. Gave it a dang, caught some fish. Now we're going to a restaurant. But we're not done. But we're not done. We're we're, not this done. is we got to show you the entire day it's here the in Florida. Experience. And this is Papa Jet's restaurant. restaurant. Sure. Called what? Fugu. Fugu. Yeah. So Daytona Beach area, Fugu. You gotta, you gotta come here. I guess what, what's the bubble drink? That's what we're here for. Yeah, if you're above 21. If you're above 21, there's a bubble you drink. You can have a bubble. So we're gonna show you what a bubble drink looks like. What is it? What's this called? It's a bubble. So you can eat that bubble. It's not so. You can eat the bubble. Yeah. Oh, oh you can pop it. Do I just pop it? Yeah. Oh. What, 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 what do we do? What do we do here? Well, you, you can pop, pop it. With your mouth. You can pop it with your nose. When you pop it, it, you gotta you get the, the sense in with the flavor. This is a lot going on. Okay, so I just just just, just go for it. Yeah, yeah, pop it with it. Oh. Oh. oh, it does smell good though. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Oh, oh, I want to smell. If, can I smell? Oh, oh, well, you got to be on that side. Oh, can you oh, smell? smell? Here, here. Like, it so wrong. Oh. Ooh, it does smell good. It the drink really itself good. does taste good, though, I will say. It's probably a secret how you get that bubble, right? Probably can't, probably can't tell people how you get the bubble. It's a, it's a secret. But it's a, yeah, it's a big secret. Now I'm, I'm drinking a, a dra what's this? Komodo Dragon? Komodo Dragon, yeah. Komodo Dragon bubble drink. Shoot. Wow. The old tower. It's the leaning tower of whatever you call that. No, no, I was gonna make it. I was gonna make it oh, lean. Trying, trying to make it seafood jump. tower yeah. came in, but we just got permission. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there, 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 there it is. Yeah. Well, now we got. We did get permission to go back in the kitchen and see how the actual rolls are made. Have you ever made a sushi roll? No. Me neither. And I'm not about to. But we're gonna see how the chef does it. So what is it? Wait, what is that? Oh, you wanna find out? That's is that oh, fried? Shrimp. Wait, that's a shrimp? Yeah, there's a shrimp in there. She is too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, big, that's a pretty big shrimp. You'll need a nice shrimp. All right, well, we're headed to the kitchen. Well, this was the sashimi, sashimi sampler some, or something. something. Like that, yeah. I don't know. So this was this was the belly meat tuna, right? Uh, yeah. One, right? Yep. Yeah, that's blue. 
I so that's and then I'm not sure what the rest of the fish was. One of them's, one of them's snapper. There, yeah. Snapper. You, you what, which do you know which part which fish are what these? Which fish ones? is what? I hope I know. Thank you. Let's see it. This is us, us too. Task. No pressure. I believe that looks like shocky, the Scottish salmon. Okay. Then we're going to have our sea bass right here with Mimoshi Oroshi on top. Yeah. Followed by your snapper, you were yep. right, the white fish. Then the lean bluefin Magoro, followed by the Hamachi in the back right, which is your Yellowtail. That's it. You got that stuff. Yeah, yeah, ten four. This is the tuna, right? Stick it in your mouth. You got it. That's the buttery tuna. Dude, that's good. It melts in your mouth, doesn't it? That's that. That is insane. Yeah. Oh, all right. I gotta go in. I'm gonna go for this guy. This guy looks fire. That was some type of snapper, I believe. There we go. It's all amazing. How's that feel? That's good. All right, your turn. Which one are you going for now? I don't know. And then he made those rolls too. Yeah, this is a tuna sampler, I believe is what he called it. The chef in the back, insane. We literally Frankie sat there in off. Yeah, Frankie, he goes off. Oh, so, what, what are you going for? Oh, they're nice. How's that? Pretty, pretty decent. I like that. This is probably the first time I've ever just like eaten just raw fish. Yeah, like straight up. Yeah, because normally I just get like cooked sushi. It's what Macy like. So, for the first time, I would say I'm pretty impressed. You ever eaten the, the green stuff right there? Yeah, you ever had that? Oh, you mean the guacamole? <laughs> yeah! Chill. Chill! How was that food? Oh, that was delicious. I kind of want to be a sushi chef now. I feel like I, I need to like... It was kind of fun. I need to learn how to yeah. do that. Yeah. Well, folks, there you have it. Episode one in Florida is complete. We flew in. We caught some fish, barely. Caught some largies. We just some OG stuff. All you guys have been commenting, Flair doesn't fish anymore. Flair, we want you to go fishing. Not realizing it's negative five degrees where I live. So what did I do? I traveled across the country to bring you guys some fishing videos. So let us know what else you guys want to see in this series. The plan is to do fishing, fishing, more fishing, catch clean cooks, explore, and just have a good time. So I really do appreciate you guys tuning in and stay tuned to the next episode. I don't know how many episodes is going to be in the Florida series, but hopefully you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace. Shoot! Let's go! We're feasting today, son. I mean, I think smallmouth fight, not even close. Shoot! We actually did pretty good, boys. All right, I'm going in, boys. Just a little nugget.